Lemmy's with me today. Bet she doesn't want to be on camera. You wanted to say hi? <laughs> Babe, do you want to say hi too? Hi. Uh, okay. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome in this beautiful garden. This is Mem's garden. Let's get started. So today I'm going to answer very, very weird and bizarre questions people have for French people. Um, I kind of read them a little ahead of this video and this is very weird. And I have a lot of things to say about them. I don't know. Tu préfères l'eau chaude ou l'eau froide, maman? Tiède. Tiède. I think French people drink a lot of tea and coffee for sure. Um, but we use ice for sure. Like it's. Yeah. What about air conditioning? Conditioner, conditioning. That's true that I personally don't really know about that. Not that many houses or apartments have it. I never had like an apartment in her house with that. Um, la climatisation, maman, c'est vrai que c'est pas très connu en France. Hein? Dans le sud aussi. Yeah, in the towns. But like France has different borders and also where I lived and where I grew up, it's um, we don't really use it. But, yeah. Small portions? I don't know. I don't think we have like small portions because, uh, yeah, no, okay, yeah, that's true. In restaurants, we do have small portions. But I guess like on fast food noodle, it's definitely like too big for me. I guess it's the elegance of French food. Why do French people love eating bread that can break they, their teeth? What? It's, it's the whole thing. Thing, you know I'm gonna make ASMR with like a bread that we have here and you're gonna you're gonna understand like just this is what's good in the bread you know like we don't break our teeth with bread although after two or three days you definitely need to like put it away because it's gonna be too hard for sure a bread needs to be crusty what if it's not crusty it's not a bread that's all I think this pe this person never had had a, a you know like never tasted a, a real bread because you can say break your teeth if it is crusty like wait maybe <laughs> that is a bread <laughs> and that <laughs> so we kind of ate the you know like the the part but like let's do ASMR. It's, it's not crusty anymore. Yeah, because it's been like here and for two days. But like, you see that? It needs to be crusty. Like, it's still a little crusty, even though like we can't really hear hear it. But it's not gonna break your teeth. Quit. Mmm, smells good. <laughs> Thank you, mom. What's a crepe? Do you mean tortilla? Maman. Oui. Une crêpe, c'est pas un tortilla. Non. Une crêpe, c'est une crêpe. Non. Tortilla, it's, it's uh, that Spanish stuff or it's different. Like how 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 do you even compare both of them? What's wrong with your tacos? <laughs> yeah, actually here in France we pet French fries on our tacos. It's like it's very, very, very common. It's good. And I thought it was like a warba stuff, right? My boyfriend is looking at me. <laughs> French fry and tacos, babe. You do know that, right? It's popular. Yeah, but it's uh, not a warba word world thing, I guess. So I don't know. It's not wrong. It's great, right? It's, it's, it's original. How do you manage to fit in such tiny cars? This is actually what I thought this morning, because this morning with mom, we were on a, like a walk and I saw like a very tiny car from like the 60s or 70s. And I had the thought like a few weeks ago, like, American cars are so big in American series and movies, you know, because I'm watching them. Compared to the cars that we have here in France, although I do think that 
um, they're already big enough, you know? But yeah, this is a great question. Like, I guess it's the truth, but like, how, how do you park with such a big car? And the roads in France, like in the countryside, they're so small, so it's better to have a small car and all. But we do fit in them, you know, like it's it's made for it. That's I thought it was it was something that it was worldwide right, world right too. I have a hard time with this word. Yeah, I thought like it was the same everywhere on same dates, you know, the the rest today. But I it was when I was a kid. Then I learned that it was for like religion purposes and then I just learned that it was not the same and not the case at all at, like, you know in different countries but it's changing you know like in French right now on Sundays a lot more shops are opening a lot more things are you know like yes activities and all you can do a lot more stuff but still on Sunday it's very quiet and there's those also to you know like not make not make noise actually if you want to open your shop on Sunday you need like a I don't know this word, but I'm gonna put it here. But yeah, yeah, but it's cool, you know. Like everyone has like a one day in a week where, when you know, it's it's quiet, everything's closed. You just have time for yourself. But it's changing. This is so cliche, like here yeah, for sure with pastries. <laughs> We drink wine and we eat cheese, but it's like, it's very cliche. Like I just ate salad at lunch. A lot of people ate salad too. I wonder if French people like Nutella at all. Yeah, you really have a thing for Nutella, don't you? That's true. Um, the Nutella ad, the Nutella ad is on TV a lot and it has always been like actually on TV. Since I was young, I, I've seen this, this, you know, the Nutella ad, but it's, it's for sure if you go to a grocery store in France, you're gonna see a whole, you know, whole thing for like the Nutella stuff, but it's changing a lot because people know that, that it's not good anymore. Yeah, and it's changing. Um, a lot of my like family members and friends don't eat Nutella anymore. You know, like it was when I was younger on the years 2000 and all, but yeah, it's changing because now we have a lot of like, ver true chocolate stuff you know pate tartini i don't know i don't know how you say that but yeah definitely it's changing for the best i know i'm myself you know i have like my computer is, is with a french keyboard and i often yeah i have a hard time because on my phone it's on you know, it's english keyboard and i don't understand why they switch to certain letters and all i don't understand either where do french people get off pronouncing toi Toi? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Wait, 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 wait. I received this morning a message from John on Patreon. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you what was it. English is the only language where you drive in parkways and parks and driveways. The word Q is just a Q followed by four silent letters. Jail and prison are synonyms, but jailer and prisoner are antonyms. Do you want one more? Let's just one more. Your fingers have fingertips, but your toes don't have two tips. Yep. You can tip toe, but not tip finger. It's okay. <laughs> this is so amazing. My mom and my boyfriend are just there and they're trying their best not to make noise for the for this video. They're just the best. So yeah, excuse me if French is complicated for you, but let me tell you that English is way more weird and complicated for us French people. I mean, I don't know. I'm not an English native speaker learning French, but yeah. You know, there's already some something called poutine, right? Why do French people call poutine poutine? Oh, well, because it's poutine. How do you pronounce it? Is is tu sais c'est quoi une poutine là? Tu sais les French fries, les um, French fries, <laughs> uh, French fries, les frites, les frites avec euh, le fromage. Well, I've always said poutine and. And finally, why are you so obsessed with apple tea? Apple tea. What do French people say? Bon apple tea? Bon apple tea? What is it? Bon apple tea? Bon appetit? This is how you pronounce it? Bon apple tea? Oh, I've never said that one. Bon apple and tea for bon appetit. What does it mean? It, yeah, well, bon apple tea means nothing for sure, but bon appetit means have a great meal, I guess. Itadakimasu. Tamakesu nida. We do have pink. Toilet paper, yeah, but we also have like blue, yellow, white. 
actually a lot of different colors, not just pink. If this if this has something to do with like romanticism or I don't know what, you have too high expectations. Again, what do I have with small cars? Why do you why do American people eat alligator? Why do Australian people eat kangaroos? I, I could I could ask you the same stuff. Like I personally don't eat them. The smell is definitely horrible. But what kind of question it is when you know that other people eat alligators? I'm sorry. Eat kangaroos? Like this is so cute. What, I mean like why do you eat kangaroos? Ma'am, do you eat snails? We don't eat snails. Do you need to speak French in Paris? I guess no. This is not something like in Paris, as it's a capital, you have a lot of like board sign in English, and in, and people often, if they work at Paris, they know how to speak English. You know, like the the thing was you know on big stores or a restaurant. I mean, I hope so because it's the capital. As long as you are like in a big city, I guess it's okay. And now you have Google Thread everywhere with your phone, so... <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is. Uh, it, it is extremely expensive. Like, you need to be rich to live there or to have family. I mean, like, everything is so expensive. Like, a, a cup of coffee at per in Paris is like... <clears throat> let me translate, like, $9? Yeah, something like this. Yeah, but I have money in your bank account if you wanna... <laughs> if you wanna come here. <laughs> Just really good. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, wow, well, it's 20 minutes. Hi, ma'am. So, ma'am was here all along. She wanted to, to say hi and to show her beautiful... Hortensia? Fuchsia. Fuchsia. It's, it's a beautiful, beautiful flower, actually. This video was meant to be entertaining and a little educational for you to know the truth about some cliche or question that you had weird question for sure uh well we do have weird question for uh, other people to you know other cultures and all and things that we don't really get because because it's a different culture but in the end it's what's good you know because the differences that some people have is uh, you know is an open door to new stuff and, and new things that you don't know and, and new things to learn about to discover, to taste. So yeah, that was it for today. I just had this this idea of doing this video this morning where I read something and I was like, oh my God, I think I need to do a video about that. I don't remember exactly what it was, but yeah. So that was Mary um, on Mem's Garden in the countryside. Uh, I actually wanted to put my Louisiana cap, but I thought, you know what? If I'm on the countryside, better put that kind of stuff. I think it's um, a hat that I actually gave as a gift to mom. C'est moi qui te l'avais offert? Yeah. <laughs> Don't forget about the crusty bread. The crusty bread is good. It means that if the, actually if your bread is crusty, it means that it, it's a good bread, a fresh bread, which is great. And it's not gonna break your teeth. This is the first time I'm, I'm hearing that, seriously. Okay, so that's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you very soon. Take care of yourself. Yeah, check out my channel for a lot of different videos. Uh, if you go on French Tastic, you can see that I done as that I did a lot of sections, languages, ports, like reaction, French stuff, and also if you want to be more entertained, you can check it out. And yeah, I'll see you very soon. Bye guys, love you so much. Take care of yourself. You want to say bye? Yeah? <laughs> You're so cute. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs>